And our team coverage of election night continues as two news reporter Kristen Eskow is following those results and the impact of this vote as people in Bellbrook were divided on the issue. Kristen. Mark and Brooke, this was certainly an issue that divided this community. People on both sides were very passionate, and we saw that here with the turnout. We saw today as there were lines all throughout the day. But I just spoke with the superintendent as well as the leader of the Vote No campaign, and both of them say this issue isn't going away tonight with these results. Now, this was a proposed 7.5 mil permanent replacement levy that was meant to replace a levy that was passed in 1981. Officials say it would have cost an extra $211 per year for the owner of a $100,000 home. It would have generated an additional $3 million per year. Officials say the last time a school levy was passed in the district was in 2015. Now earlier today when I sat down with the superintendent, I asked him about what it would mean if this levy did indeed fail. That will be a discussion we'll have at the, the board meetings in the next few months. And I don't see any way we couldn't put the levy back on the ballot in November. Again, that's not my decision. It's the board's decision. But the need for this money will not go away.